Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Elf Rocket. No time to read the newspaper, Your Majesty. There is King's work to be done. What King's work? The elves want you to inspect their latest toy. Oh, I don't like these elf toy inspections. The toys are always perfect, and all I say is they're perfect. There's the elf truck now. Hello, Your Majesty. May I present the very latest elf toy? A space rocket. It's perfect. Don't you want to see it fly? <sighs> OK, if I must. Is that it? Yes. But it's called a space rocket. It didn't go anywhere near space, did it? It's just a toy, Your Majesty. Just a toy? I could kick a football higher than that. And rockets should be able to go higher than footballs. Well. I'm sure we can make it go higher. How high? I could make a rocket go to the moon if I wanted to. No, you couldn't. Yes, I could. I'm an elf. <coughs> and elves can do anything. Very well. I command the elves to build a rocket to fly me to the moon. And me! To fly me and Princess Holly to the moon. And me and Gaston. <coughs> and Nanny Plum to look after the children. I bet you can't fly Holly, Ben, Gaston, me and Nanny Plum to the moon. You're on. By tonight. Oh, OK. Marvellous. See you later, then. Come on, Ben. We'd better go and start making that rocket. It's a matter of elf honour. OK. Bye, Holly. See you tonight. Bye. Ah, how did the toy inspection go? Uh, did the king say the toy rocket was perfect? Uh, he thought it could go a bit higher. Oh, really? Well, I suppose I could fit a stronger spring. How high does the king want it to go? To the moon. To the moon? And I said we could have some people inside. People inside? By tonight. Impossible. Elf honour is at stake. Elf honour? In that case, we must do it. We'll build this rocket and we'll fly it to the moon tonight. Stop toy production at the Elf Factory. Start work on the Elf Rocket immediately. Right on. <laughs> Now, I will work out how to get the elf rocket from here... The Little Kingdom. ...to here. The Moon. Ah, Nanny Plum, I'd like you to join us on a little trip this evening to the moon. A trip to the moon? That sounds nice. I'll pack a picnic. Hello? Hello, Your Majesty. The elf rocket is ready. That was quick. Elves work quickly. And we're elves. <laughs> ah! May I present the elf rocket? Not bad. Does it fly? Does it fly? Of course it flies. It's an elf rocket. The rocket will land here in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sandcastles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnics. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen? What's all this big space for, then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. 
I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet, then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet? But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palam, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready! Engines are go! Computers ready! Computers online! Fuel system ready! Fuel systems A OK! Start the countdown! I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Or fairy. Oh, sorry, Ollie. You are going where no elf or fairy has gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. <coughs> Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! <coughs> Hang on! What happened? When you open a door in space, it sucks all the air out of the rocket. Poor Nanny Plum. She's floating away. Hello! My wings don't work! We can hear you through the radio, Nanny Plum. You don't need to shout. Just stay calm. Stay calm? I'm floating off into deep space. Elf Rocket, this is Mission Control. What's going on up there? Nanny Plum opened the door and is now lost in space. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Well, never mind. On with the mission. No, we have to rescue Nanny Plum. Oh, I suppose we must. I'll rescue Nanny. Me, too. <laughs> all right. You're all tied to this rope so you won't drift away. Are you ready? Ready! <laughs> We're coming, Nanny Plum! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on to what? Oh, no! We can't reach Nanny Plum! Mr Elf, the rope isn't long enough! Oh, no! Lost in space! And I never even went to the toilet! Here's your lasso, Ben! Thanks, Dad! Keep still! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Got you! Wahey! You rescued Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you, Ben. Oh, thank you, everyone, for rescuing me. Let that be a lesson to you, Nanny Plum. No more opening doors. I was just having a look around. Well, please don't look around. This is a serious mission. Elf! Honour is at stake. Well, I'm very sorry. I won't touch anything again. Fair is honour. Good. Now, everybody strap themselves in. Our next stop is the moon. Oh, good. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can have our picnic. For the last time, Nanny Plum, 
there will be no picnic on the moon. This adventure continues in our next episode. Picnic on the moon. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> We'll be having porridge for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> porridge! Porridge! <laughs> but the porridge pot is empty. Yes, Holly. Daisy and Poppy will be practising their magic this morning. Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> <laughs> wandy, wandy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more. Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Ah! 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 Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge, thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More! More! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang! That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Is Mummy your wand? Ah! I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> ah! I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow! Uh, that's Fleur! She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know, they're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet and echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> So, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Hidey, hidey! The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Coming. Ready or not? Oh, where are the twins? Daisy, Poppy, it's not safe for you to fly so high. Kitty Catty! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> to a kitten again. Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? Um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> So, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Puppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit. Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty catty. <laughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> Birdy Wordy, Birdy Wordy. Phew, do you think that's it? Yes, luckily birds can't hold wands. Ah, <laughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away, birdies. Come back, twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But, Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. 
tiger, tiger, alligator, crocodile. Today's adventure starts at the frog pond. Tadpoles. For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho oh, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da, da la la di da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. It was great today, Mummy. We learned all about frogs and I've got some homework to do. That's nice, darling. Good night. Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good morning, Frog Spawn. Oh, where did those little fish come from? Those aren't fish, Holly. They're tadpoles. Hello, tadpoles. Uh, what are tadpoles, Nanny? They're baby frogs. They hatched from the frog spawn. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert on frogs. By tomorrow, they'll have changed again. Ooh. They start off as frog spawn and then they get little fishy tails and they're called tadpoles. Oh, oh, you seem to know an awful lot about frogs. Nanny's teaching me all about them. Do you like frogs, Daddy? Of course. As long as they keep to their pond and don't bother anyone, they can be a bit slimy and disgusting. <laughs> Daddy! Good night, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, tadpoles. <gasps> the tadpoles have got legs. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, Holly, but it'll be even more amazing later. Ooh. Mummy, I want to show you something. What is it, Holly? Come and see. <laughs> I can't see my tadpoles anymore. Tadpoles? They must be invisible. Nanny, did you do a spell on them? No, Holly. So where are they? <coughs> oh, dear. I think the king has found them. <coughs> where did this come from? <coughs> <laughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <laughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? 
Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies, this way. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. Crank, 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 crank. Let's play hide and seek. One, two, three. Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends, Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. <coughs> Good night, Froggies. <coughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <coughs> this one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. Bye. <coughs> do something about <coughs> these frogs, <coughs> please, Nanny Plum. <coughs> mm. <coughs> they do seem to be getting bigger <coughs> and noisier. <coughs> If they're smaller, perhaps they'll be quieter. Slimy eaters of flies shrink to half your size. Oh, they're smaller, but somehow I seem to have made more of them. Shall I try the spell again? Ah, uh, maybe not. Froggy, froggy. <laughs> Frogs belong in water. Yes, Daddy. Daddy says frogs belong in water. So, let's magic the courtyard into a paddling pool. Hmm, we won't be needing that door. Bye-bye, door. Good. Now we can fill the courtyard with water. Water, water, splish, splash, splosh. <laughs> there you go, Froggies. A paddling pool. Daddy will be pleased. That's odd. Where's the door gone? It was there earlier. No problem. I'll magic it back. Froggies. Holly Thistle, did you do this? Yes, Daddy. You said the frogs needed water, so I made them a paddling pool. That's enough. The frogs must go. Oh. Off you go. <coughs> Shoo. <coughs> ah. Hi, Holly. Are you OK? No. Daddy says I've got to send my frogs back to the pond, but they won't go. Go. Hmm. What we need is a clever plan to move them. Elves are very good at clever plans, and I'm an elf. <laughs> so what is your clever plan? We'll play leapfrog. You jump over my back and I'll jump over yours. Hoopla! Hoopla! How's this going to help? Hoopla! Hoopla! Look! They're following us! Hoopla! 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 Here we are! The pond! Well done, Ben. Thank goodness they're not in the castle anymore. But, Daddy, I'll miss them. Don't worry, Princess Holly. They'll come back to the castle one day. Why? 
frogs always return to the place where they hatched to lay their eggs. Oh. Yippity-dee-dah! <laughs> <laughs>